Hello, folks. That was the wrong button. Uh, yeah, that's probably all right. Uh, let's see how this goes. Oops, that was too low. I should have turned the music down just a little bit. You all will be hearing slightly different music than what I'm hearing. And by slightly different, I mean completely different. Or just, you know, different. Uh, let's see how this goes. It's not bad. At some point, uh, we'll figure out how to do a Spotify sharing thing. Let's do that. There we go. Spotify. List. They created something. Experience. How do we spell that? A released feature called social listening. Spotify will interested in a share queue feature. So this turned into just me looking at notes, but whatever. Um, yeah, I should look at this because that might be an interesting way to do this is if you're on Spotify and have other music if you're not. Um, I mean, only Spotify plays for now. Anyways, uh, Spotify's gotten a lot better recently. Had a tip to Spotify devs or engineering or whoever for um, setting up and upgrading the algorithms and stuff because it's been the record or the process has been much better. Uh, okay, so left, left coding, what are we gonna do? Um, so the goal today is one, I'm gonna start doing a little bit more of these live notes uh, or these notes. But so what I wanna do is set up a feature. on my live tools, on my launchpad tool site that creates Hugo uh, draft files. The easiest way to say that for right now, maybe come up with it later. Uh, so what I mean by that is, so my website's powered by Hugo, powered by Hugo, whatever. Um, my launchpad is PHP. Uh, that runs on uh, a, a MAMP web server. Um, so yeah, here's the thing I need to do. Um, links. MAMP. So like, you go, MAMP. I gotta figure out how, how I wanna do those notes. I'm still working on that. Um, oh, you can Google that, come on. I go back and forth on that. So, still haven't bought Sublime Text. If I'm in this directory, so this this woodshed allensmith.com prod is my is the root of my local site. So Hugo is a static site generator. You feed it static files, you run it through the Hugo engine, and it produces the website that's also static. It's just a bunch of flat files and you upload those to your web server and it serves them in the team of the world. So, which I really like it, it's cool. But one of the tricks with it is, what you'll see right here, is the organization of it right now is just um, a whole bunch of directories with individual files in them. So, but when I'm trying to look for something, or when I try and make a new one and then try and look for it, it's kind of a pain. Um, because you got to find it. But what, so what I set up in one of the previous streams is this little feature um, called HN, which all this does is uh, if I give it, I'm going to give it a couple underscores here. Um, example test one. If I get an example test one, it takes that string and you'll see here, it builds out, it basically calls Hugo new with this and then slash index.md, which makes this file in this full path. Uh, and then if I launch the Hugo site, um, which will take in a second here. Nope, nope, there it goes. So it just made, that's, that just made this draft file, right? And now what's cool in, the, in one of the last streams is I've got this now, this little edit button so I click on it and it'll take me 
Oh, so it's already open. Uh, if that file isn't open, that edit button takes me to it. It's not going to the front. Um, and actually, when I created when I created the file, when I did that that hn command, it actually opened the file for editing too. Um, so that just makes it easy to get to. But I, I kind of don't want to do that on the command line all the time. I kind of want to do that in my launchpad site. Um, and what I'm thinking I might even do is, like, so I've got a couple things that I do daily, or basically most days. Um, and that's, I, I write a journal in the morning. So if you look at, uh, if you look at the directory tree, you'll see this all these journals. So every morning I go, you know, and now it's easier. Uh, here, let's stop that. Um, you do HN journal. And then I've got a text expander thing that gives me the date and then hit enter and go. But like, I gotta go to the command line. I gotta do that. Like it's super easy. Like I'm, it's nice. It's way better than what it ha used to be. Cause I'd have to go to this specific directory, Hugo new, journal and then slash index.md, right? I'd have to do the full thing. And then I'd have to open that file and kick it over to um, Sublime Text. And when I opened it straight, it wouldn't have this directory there. So like, I, this is, I've made lots of improvements on this. Um, still room for improvement, right? Because um, what, what I'm looking to do is just completely, or as much as possible, reduce the friction to getting to the stuff that I want to do. Like I'm already doing a bunch of stuff, but anyway, it's nice to just like have it go easy, even easier. So what we're gonna do is work on getting um, a little button here that, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make one to start with. So I'm gonna try and focus this really, really quickly on just one thing, which is to start with the the simplest thing I want to get out the door is a button that when I click it, it um uh. All it does is it makes that Hugo file and it launches Sublime Text for me. And the question is, hmm. So I did some GIFs, Git stuff. Cause the, the, the trick right now, right, is when I do, I may, have, I may just be coming up with an idea to solve another thing. So actually this is gonna be dead now. Let me restart. So Hugo serve D for drafts is what fires up and lets the site go. That little HS command is alias to that. Uh, so this should be live again. If I go back here. See here, actually see if this works. Yeah, so you see the window that popped up back there? I want that to be in, like if I click that link, I want that window to come all front. Um, it does not do that right now. So, but I've got another set of tools, or I've got another thing that I've worked on. It's this GIFs tool that when I click on a GIF, uh, let's do Screaming Dude. It, it moves that particular GIF into the finder and then fires the finder, but actually, open, but makes the finder pop up. And that's happening with the launch D script in the back. So I'm wondering if I should click over oh you'd have to watch the full directory what i'm trying to do i'm trying to figure out how to make that thing pop up you know again it's just a minor annoyance but i'd like to see if i can't get that window to pop up but i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that next so again i'm, I'm just trying i'm i'm kicking around here to figure out where i want to like get into this and, and what specifically i want to do but I've kind of like I've got this idea like oh, I want to be able to like create things and make some automatics or whatever. Like right now, I'm going to get to the just the the simplest path that I can get out is you know the if you if you refine it all the way down, the thing that I want to have happen is I click a button or a link and a page exists. So I'm just going to make that happen. I'm going to hard code basically everything to get that working. And then once that's working, I can refine around and figure out how to you know what uh, machinations I want to do with it. So. We're gonna start with that. Uh, Cause I, you know, it would be easy to go down and like, ooh, we can make it pop up and do this like, okay, let's let's just get the first one going. Um, so let me close a bunch of these things. So example test, let me get rid of that before I forget about it. 
So that is going to be in my website, in prod, in content, and right up there at the top because we put a bunch of underscores there, so that's cool. All right, so now how do we do this? So this is on my launch pad. So uh, I can close that Hugo thing for now. Whoops, I didn't do that. SPL, sublime text for my launch pad. I'm debating calling Launchpad Tools, but I still kind of like Launchpad. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just, you know, make a link. Um, I don't have a good way to do TDD on this. My, my tests are just me testing it, and yes, my HTML is all over the place and not formatted. Um, one of these days I might work about that, uh, might worry about that. Um, today is not that day. So, under searches, where are searches? Here are my searches. Actually, I could do about my bug searches. Because I can do H4, we can do Hugo stuff. Again, I'm just I'm just making progress. Like I don't know specifically what I'm gonna end up calling this. I just wanna I just wanna get moving and get going. Um because that's where I've I've I already knew this, but now I've really discovered it doing these uh, streams that that's, that's a lot of how I figure stuff out and I actually get, I make more progress and I actually refine down to the thing and, and circle it back and move around and find the thing that I really wanted to build by doing this and talking about it. So we're just going to do this. A href equals, um, so I've got this launchers directory over here, um, cause I'm trying to get stuff out of the root. Uh, I'm not sure if launchers is the right place for this. Uh, commands, gifts, no tools. Nah, uh, so we're, I'm gonna put it in launchers for now and then we can move it later if we want to. Um, it's a new file. I wish new file would actually open in that directory when you do that. So uh, I'm just gonna do a PHP file, echo, here, here, right? Save that. Put that in launchers, and we're going to call this make Hugo page entry draft post PHP. Uh, okay, so now that where that is, we're going to come back here. We're going to go to launcher l u n c h u r f launchers. Uh, just one thing real quick. Cool. Um, make you go draft post PHP. Who wants to bet whether or not I got that all right? Um, make you go draft post. Let's see if it shows up. Hey, it works now. Did I get the right link? Hey, got the right link. Okay, cool. So progress, made progress. Moving right along. Um, and again, I'm not trying to build, like I'm not trying to build the end. I'm trying to like get a thing to, you know, I'm, this is like a tone test on TV. You send the bars and tones. That maybe should be my background. Bars and tone. You will recognize this if you've ever seen one. Uh, if you're not, oh my God, an hour of bars and tone. That's pretty good. Um, NTSCY, I don't know if they got HD broadcast bars and tone. There you go. Uh, yeah, so bars and tone. Hopefully this isn't copyrighted. There you go. I should make that image. Mine. So I've got a... Oops, wrong button, there we go. Uh, pen. Favorites. Yeah, actually, let's do this. Uh, uh, ah, whatever, it's fine, you won't see that. Um, I was gonna make a note to do it, but then you wouldn't actually see it because it's an OBS and you, you're not gonna see behind the scene on OBS because I don't broadcast OBS because I, I need another OBS for that. So OBS is all the way down. Uh, all right, cool. So now what we wanna do is just build that page, is build that file. So the, the easiest way I could think to do that 
is I've got some other PHP. Let me, ooh, this is interesting. I don't think I put this in. PHP, did I have anything? I don't know if I had. Oops, there we go, roll up. Free contents of a file, plain text header. I'm just looking to see, oh, it's Django. I'm gonna get out of PHP. I have a dash there? Yeah, there we go. Um, calculate, check if a file exists, array loop, pad. I'm a little tired, so I hope I'm not blown right fast. I read the contents of the file. XML stuff. Oh, I remember this. When was this? 2015? Yeah. Um, even though we did something like 2003. So what I've got, I didn't put a note in there, and that is my console. Yeah, so here's how to do whatever. Um, wait a minute, open Hugo. Oh, I'm already opening the file. Right, yeah, yeah, so this this actually catches, so when I'm in my Hugo site, let me actually keep that running now. Um, Hugo serve, that'll load in a second. This goes to Launchpad Launcher, so that's actually what does that. So that's what fires up that file, working on my local suit slide. Oh, it's already open. Yeah, if it's already open, it doesn't relaunch it. Um, Uh, uh, one second. So I'm already, I'm already opening the file. Now I just need to make the file. So that's cool. So this is, but what I was looking at there is actually making the, is making a call to the command. So the question is, uh, let me do this. Let me just put this in here because I want to have some type of PHP stuff in here. PHP, um, call external command. times when you want to figure all this stuff out, and there's times when you don't. The question is, can I use the same shell command to open? So let's do this. Uh, let me bring up another tab. So I want to call Hugo directly. So let's see where Hugo is. Which Hugo? Is that centered? Nope. Yep. Oh, so you need to be, so you got to be in the directory. Um. 
So how... Well, actually, I, I, no, I don't need to call the Hugo command. So Hugo, all Hugo does is it's just making... Like, let's build that example file again. Um, Hugo new example test dos. All it's doing is making this. Like, there's nothing special. It's making this. There's nothing special about about it. It's just writing to a file and, it's, and then it puts it in a specific directory. So it makes a it makes a directory in a specific location and then makes an index.md file inside of there. Um, So now, okay, so let's help look how to write a PHP file, PHP write file. Cause I don't, I don't need to worry about trying to do the external command of Hugo to then go do the stuff to just to write a file and make a directory. So um, PHP make dir, er, dir, let's try this, make dir. Makes a directory, string, mode, recursive, content. Content. Content supports out there for descriptions for the streams. Oh, maybe throw the crap in there. Yeah, so I just do make dir. And then I think, yeah, the mode is optional. All right, so now, again, I'm just going to hard code everything to see what's going on. So let me get rid of this one, though. Actually, I'm going to keep this because this is going to be my, I'll use this as a template. Um, So I'm not going to do that, I should do that, I think it's a better thing. So, make dir, and let me go, so content is where the stuff goes, right, because here's all the files, um, and like, you know, here's all those journal files that we saw, or directories that we saw earlier. So I'm going to do pwc, which is a function I have that copies the directory. Um, we're gonna put that in there, and then we're gonna do this example PHP built, 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 built. Uh, one. All right, so let's just see if that made a directory. Uh, let's come here, open that so y'all can see it. Let's do this. Let's go here. Content, PHP, there's a directory. Okay, sweet. So now, um, want to at some point see if it's built because if I try and fire one up it may mean that I want to like make a new one instead of trying to remake the same one but that's again that's further down the road so now what we need to do is oh actually I think I've got notes for this uh, I think I just saw a PHP write file nope it'll... PHP write file uh, file put contents Um, 
Structure. Wait, that's Mictor. I don't want Mictor. Oh, the wrong thing. Um. File put contents, the function is identical to calling file open, file write, file close successfully to write a data file. Okay, so way better. I remember when you used to have to do all this junk and it's like, it was always just kind of like, ah. Um, so file name, data to write, could be a string or array. Okay, yeah. String is a file name, so that's the path. Path to the file and then data. So those are the only two things we need. What are the flags that we got? We call your file that joins the binary operator. Use include path, file that you can append to it, or lock it, okay, whatever. Context, stream context, okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, file put contents. So file put contents, we're gonna do the same path, but with index.md, and the contents are gonna be Hello world. Again, I'm not worried about trying to get everything, all the actual stuff in there yet. Whoops. Did I duplicate that? I feel like I did. Yeah. Can I bring that down one size? It's a little small on the for YouTube. I'm trying to make this for people who don't have large monitors can see it. Um Cool, that works. So now, let's we'll see if this works. Refresh, I'm gonna sit in the page again, and hopefully, there it is, MD. And inside of it, hello world. Sweet, okay, so now I just wanna send the content to it. Um, content equals, is it three quotes? Is that how you do this in PHP? Whoops. Oh, I picked it up the second time. I don't know if that's going to overwrite. I'm guessing it does. Let's bring this back, refresh. Oh, something exploded. Didn't work. I'm gonna delete the file and see if that's what the problem was. Refresh. That was not what the problem is. Probably the problem is that I am not doing multi-line quotes properly. PHP multi-line quote. Something it didn't like here. Oh, quotes. Uh, that's okay. I can probably do this, right? Single quotes. Here. That's a good sign. Nice. Now, just to throw something else at it. 
because uh, I want to see it change. Here worked again, and all that junk's in there. Cool, okay, so it overwrites, that's fine. Ooh, okay, so that may be a gotcha. Um, I should take notes about stuff. Um, if only there was a place for me to take notes. Some type of list of ideas. Uh, make sure the PHP Hugo draft post builder doesn't overwrite existing posts. Actually, that's important enough that I'm going to do that now. Because I don't, I don't want that one hanging out. Because I don't want to accidentally overwrite. Like if I do a bunch of work on a on a draft or and then post it. And I accidentally send the same thing to it. I don't want to. I don't want to blow it away. So I'm going to solve that right now. That's important enough to do. Um, so now, now I'm going to start pulling some stuff out into various. So that's. I mean, that's it. That's the the first version, right? Everything's hard coded, but it works. So now we get to go through and actually, and that's. You're gonna hear me talk about Sandy Metz a lot and, and her her kind of idea of shameless green, which is basically get to do the quickest and sometimes ugliest thing that you can do just to get stuff going. And lots of times that's just hard code everything. Just like why get a single wire going across that works. And then once you've got that, you can go back and actually put in all the machinery to make the things happen that need to happen, but make the connection first. Get get from A to B just as fast as you can. And then from there, you can go back and say, okay, let's go back. And, and again, this isn't like for um, for stuff that you're doing. Well, I can't actually think of an example when you wouldn't want to do this. Like you, you're not gonna push it live in that state, I guess is the quick, like, so when I say this is the first version, this is my first version. This is the, the development first version. This isn't a production first version. Like there will be lots of refinement between now and the production first version. But for this, for me as a developer, this is my first version out and it's working and I got it going. And so now I can actually start like doing things like adding the improvements and like, and I've always, and then the trick is I always want to make sure that the functionality stays in place. So no matter what I do, I, I'm, I'm going to go back and check. And this is another Sandy Metz thing where she says, says stay one step away from green. So I'm really going to only make one change at a time, test it, make sure the thing still works. If it doesn't, I'm going to go back and fix it. And what that also means is I'm not going to go make eight or 10 different changes and then go see if it works. Because if it doesn't, then I got to go unpack all of that stuff and figure out which one it is or back all the way out. So that's kind of the, the approach. And this song has got to go. Okay. Somebody was just like going for 73 minutes. Um, anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the, so I, I, I want to have this, um, uh, <laughs> what's up, Steve? I want to have this file path. Um, uh, let's see, this is post file path, right? Because we're gonna try and name things well. Post file path. I so I want to have this out as its own thing. Um, because I know that I'm gonna need to use that a couple different times. Um, the first time is, or the last time is down here. And so again, what I'm gonna do, come down here, and I'm gonna try and put this in. So what I need to do is I need to change some content here and I'm going to call this live thing because I just need to see something change when I run it. So here's the run live thing. So we're seeing it show up. So that worked. So I didn't break anything. Now what we need to do is figure out to see PHP file exists. File exists. I was just here. So file exists file name, which is the path to a file or directory, and then it returns a yes or no. Uh, so if it, so now all we need to do is say if file exists, we're not gonna wanna do anything. I'm gonna say if not file exists, right? Because we wanna see if it if it's not there, that's when we're gonna to wanna to make it. Uh, I'm gonna move my content up here. And then here's all the stuff that we're gonna do. 
So if the file doesn't exist, we're gonna make that go. And the way that we're gonna test that is I'm gonna change some, so in my output right now, we've got live thing with the TH both capitalized. Uh, new thing. So what I expect to happen here is when I run this, this should not update because what should be happening is the the script is going to look at this file, see that it's there, and then it's not going to do any work. So let's see if that happens. So come here, refresh. All right, we saw it go. Cool. Do it a couple times. Excellent. It did not update, so it still says live thing. Now the other the other test is blow that away, and now when we run it, it should make the file for us. There's the file. There's new thing. So we've got that split happening, and that's working. Now, now I'm much happier with this because I'm not going to accidentally go blow shit away, um, which is nice because I don't want to have to do that, and I don't put stuff in version control as much as I should. So that's our file path. And so now the other, so now I'm just looking for duplication, um, and the the easiest thing to see for duplication is this right here is the fact that this path, um, <laughs> uh, that this path is virtually the same as this. The only difference is like the file, right? So it's the directory and then the directory plus the file. So we're gonna make this happen, right? Uh, post file, the post directory. Not the greatest name, but whatever. So we're gonna grab that, we're gonna put this up here, we're gonna take this back, and then I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna make the one change right now. So one of the changes I wanna do is gonna be to update the uh, this as well, but I'm only gonna make one change at a time, just to make sure that this is working. So make their poster. And so now in order to test this, what I really need to do is blow this away, right? Because make needs to happen. Um, refresh. Example test two. That's what we're doing, right? No. Oh, oh, there it is. Take a second. Uh, there we go. So the file's being built, directory's being built. And that's awesome. And so now the next test, and again, you, you could kind of do both of these things at the same time, but sometimes it's it's a slippery slope to doing that and jumping through and having uh, too many things happen. Especially because I actually don't know if that's the right way to do PHP. Uh, watch my things string interpolation, or whatever it's called. All right, so we're gonna run one more time. Didn't explode. Directory's there, file's there. Sweet. Cool. Um, all right, so where do we go from here? So I've got, I've, I've reduced my duplication now, and so now I'm actually, I'm ready to kind of like punch in another feature. Um, So things that I need to do, so the, the first thing that I'm gonna do is just make this for making a journal entry. So I'm gonna hard code some other stuff. So journal is gonna be here, draft is gonna be true. Oh, I need to do, okay, so the date. I need to put in a date 
as a timestamp there, right? So I'm just looking for stuff that I can do with the file as it exists now, because I know that one of the things I'm gonna need to do is send information to this file or to the script to process to know what to do, right? Because we can't just have it hard or the same thing all the time. But right now there's some stuff that I can do without doing that. And, the, and that thing particularly is I can come up with a date. So, um, HP date. Please tell me it has things so I don't have to assemble it myself. My SQL date format. Uh, I might have to assemble myself. Oh yeah, these are all. Okay, gotta assemble it yourself. It doesn't have things. Okay, whatever. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is, so format, timestamp. Timestamp is optional. Integer and the Unix timestamp, the default to the current location. Local time and timestamp is none's given. In other words, it defaults to the value of time. Every call to date time function will generate an E notice if the time zone is not valid. Error notice, I guess. Error strict, error warning. Default date default time zone. Set the default time zone available since PHP 1. So you need to set that. Oh, crap. Um, what are my time zones? this sucks because it's EST and EDT and oh okay so where's the list list of sports on there it is uh, might as well put that in the notes eh, I don't know about these notes I did a really good write-up on one but this one doesn't feel like it's gonna be as um, much stuff where am I going so America, New York is what we're going to be looking for. Just need the format, okay. Because so I live in Florida, which is the same thing as America, New York. I mean, definitely not really. Uh, let me close some of the stuff. Put file contents. I think we're okay there. We can get back to the stuff when we need it. It's funny. On stream, I close tabs way more frequently, just because I have much less space to work with. Um, so there's my fire. There's date, which we've got date open. There's that. I'm just going to close off some of these. Uh, let's straighten up a little bit. Why isn't that playing? There we go. Nope. All right. This isn't working for me. Where's the. Uh, Ramble on's pretty good, but where is. All right, Ramble on is. Yeah. I wish I could share that with you. Hold it on strings. Cool. Or... Yep, yep. There's that. Okay, cool. Uh, so, date. So, the first thing I want to do, and it may already be set, but I'm going to set it explicitly. Once I find the page to do it in. There we go. Uh, here we go. So, what it wants us to do is make it that with America, New York. Like that. And now we just go date, and then we gotta design the format for it. Um, oh. Print something like this. Look at this. Is that what we need? Oh, it's very close to what we need. I'll see if it works. Uh, date atom. Again, I wish I could share this with you. Uh, post date. I should call this draft, but it's fine. Oh, that's in single quotes, though.
All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna move this to double quotes. And then we're gonna escape this, right? I'm assuming that's how escape works here. And then put that. Seems like it. All right. Uh, do right clear it. So. Fresh, made it. There's a date for us. Wait. 23, 23, 18. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, is that exactly the right format? Oh, I should have kept the other one. <laughs> Whoops. Here. I don't have to do that. I can just get it over here. Year dash month dash day T hour colon minute colon second minus uh, offset. Perfect. I was thinking I might have to do that myself, which I've had to do before, but I like that just fine. Sweet. Okay. So that's progress. That's good progress. Um, the rest of this stuff. I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to deal with differently. So I'm gonna hard, actually I'm gonna hard code this to just making a journal right now. So again, I'm, I'm looking for the, the least amount of stuff that I can do um, to get the thing, the first thing out that I want out the door. Um, Um, so really, so yeah, so if this is going to be my journal, so let me go ahead and actually update the link, right? Because what I'm going to do is, this is going to be make journal draft. Oops. Uh, this one. Make journal draft. And so, whatever, I just want to see the link where, like, I was refreshing the page and it was working, so, like, that's cool. But, oh, did I close that? I did. Broad. Where am I going? Uh, content. I'm going to pull this away, right? Uh, I'm going to leave that on there for a little bit. Do I have you running? Yeah. Ooh, look at all these drafts. <sighs> See, that's the thing with the live coding stuff. If I want to do the notes, I need to get it. I, I'm gonna put at minimum. I'm gonna post the um, post the videos there, which I've just taken a thing because I gotta do from Twitch, move them to YouTube, have them upload, do all that jazz, which I'm trying to automate, but it's not there yet. Um, so nothing's there. If I go back, post my draft. There it is. There it is. Dates updated. 21 after the hour. That was cool. See, I was just thinking about if I wanted to do a title, but I don't want to do the title yet because I don't I don't know what the titles are gonna be. Oh, you refresh that. Is there a refresh in there? No. Nope. Maybe close it and open it. Oh, they're down here. Yeah, that gets me the in the finder, the dashes, the underscores show up at the top above the numbers, but in Sublime Text, it uses a slightly different sort and it's below the numbers, so they're down here. Oh, it's got a space up top. I don't want that. Let me get rid of that. Once we find. This one. It's 
so we gotta do that. And then actually I would have put one more there because I want it to be down a little bit. So example, so the that's got the date. And then the other thing that I want to do is do this, which is journal for uh so here's the question. I think this is a format I'm using for my journals. I'm just gonna put this in for now and then we can deal with it later if it's not right. Um, so instead of moving it to a variable, I'm just gonna put in um, a bunch of date calls. Funny, they actually list Where's the list of all the things you can do? Examples, make time, make time. Date formatting, set local. Format dates in other languages. String five, that's is probably what the list is. Nope, there we go. Yeah, so here's all the things you can do. Um, I can do that. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have moved that one to BB Edit. Too late. I already did that one. No, I didn't. So I, what I'm looking for, I'm just looking for a specific format that I want to use real quick. Abbreviated month name. thought there was one that had like four, like four characters instead of three. I don't want the full word. So if we just do date, but how do you this right Oops. all right I'm gonna do something slightly risky which is I'm gonna take my if statement off for right now so that I rebuild this file every time that may burn me once in the future um, hopefully I remember. Oh, broke. This did not like something. See, I made two changes. Now I don't which one, I don't know which one it was that screwed me. I need to quote this, right? Is that what it is? That's it. Okay, so it moved up, got it, and it says journal for number eleven, which is wrong. H, abbreviated month name based on the locale. Are those different? Maybe it's not using the same format. I'll just do it with this. Um, oh, is M -O -N -T -H. sense on it right because it's okay that's probably right this still says for 11 that's not helpful make sure it's actually did it update 27 after there yeah it did okay okay uh all right i'm just gonna burn through this now with whatever i find uh Oh, that's our, okay. 
probably are with looting zeros. So that's why I get us. Four, okay, so there's 2020. Here, that would make sense. So this is probably August. August, does that give us August 2020? So, or September 2020, yep. Monday, 8th of August. July 1st is a RCF. Something on Monday. Really wish I had a real good list of all the characters here. So I'm gonna do it this way. I'm a three. J lowercase. J comma. Let's see if that works. You might have to escape the comma. September 27th, 2020. Okay, that's fine. And that's got the date, drafts true, journal. Okay, so that's that's what I want to produce. Uh, wait, well, yeah, that's it. That's the first version. Um, oh, so uh, so not quite. So that's that's the content. Now I need to get to the directory. Um, And so post directory, I need this to say journal. And again, I'm gonna just hard code it right now, right? Journal 2020 09 27. Oh, I'm gonna do, oh, here's the thing. Yeah, see, this is tricky because I'm testing on a live, on a live product. Um, I'm gonna put a because I already wrote a journal for today that's sitting in the slot that this would go in. So I'm gonna put a dash two here for right now. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is go and make sure everything's been committed. If not. Okay, the only things that haven't been committed are the, the pieces I'm actually look, working on right now, so that's fine. That that post that I have has, has been backed up, so if I accidentally screw it up, it's fine. Um, it would be slightly better for me to go work in a different environment. Um, I, well, actually, I could put... Yeah, why don't I do that? Um, content. Dev. Because it's just that. Dev. All right. Yeah. So whatever. I've just hard coded a different path. I haven't changed anything other than the hard coded path. But I'll just test test it real quick. There we go. Cool. Uh, and now I can drop that dash two off there because I know that that's what I want. Um, and again, this is where I'm, the, the risk that I'm running right now is if I, if, when I put this into production, when I put this into production, if I don't turn this back on, it's gonna bite me. Um, it's gonna blow away that file. So the other thing I can do just right now, just to, in case I do that, is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a very quick version of version control, which is we're just gonna uh, duplicate the file. Or just, there you go. Um, Safe copy. Whatever, it's fine. So now the only thing I need to do, so journal, now I just need to put the date in here. Uh, and so there's no, there's no other things in there. So I can move this to double quotes. 
and we can just get the date again. So that was the, oh, I don't know if that J is with leading zeros or not. I want leading zeros. See, they used a crappy example here because it's 10. Oh wait, that's the, which one's the month, which one's the day? Pretty sure day is the first one, because this is the European version, month, day, year, um, I believe. Is there a capital J floating around anywhere? Because what I want is leading zeros. I'll bet that doesn't have leading zeros, but I'm in the 27th, so I can't do it. I could send it a different day, whatever. Um, I can't believe they don't list what all the things are. PHP date strings tokens. What's that? No idea. Uh, all right, we'll just find it or figure it out. I wish it was this. Hey, what was the other one? Yeah. Font character X time in the format parameter. Oh. Wait a minute. Could you use that? String fight. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so two digit representative 24 hour, yeah, yeah. Describe formats, try five formats array. Display all known and unknown formats. Whoops, scared the hell out of me. Uh, yeah, let's use this instead. That works just because I've got actual insight into what it's doing because it has documentation which is super helpful i gotta do these notes at some point uh strength of time so saturday sunday see this is what i want exactly what i want two digit day month with leading zeros and then I also want, so the first thing, I'm, so I'm gonna want that, was that D? Uh, ready to do this. That wasn't the right thing. Date string equals stringify time. I don't know what that actually stands for, but. And then echo that for me because I want to see it before we build the file on it. Boom, because we need that. Boom, here, 27, which is the day. And that is going to have, uh, where'd it go earlier? So I, I trust the documentation here that that's going to have a zero on it because I want to have a four digit year, two digit month. Two digit J. So there's a two, di two digit day. Oh wait, two digit day of month, yes. Uh, day of year, three digit, oh, that's cool. In our group, such day of the day, week, week, week. Abbreviated month name, full name of the month, abbreviated month name based on locale. Two digit representation of the month, zero one for January 12th. See, there's a month. Month. Now, do we think year is capitalized or no? Uh, four digit representation of the year, it is capitalized. Capital Y, there we go. 
So this should give us that, which is what we want to have here. So let's blow it away in our dev content. And let's see what happens. There it is. And there it is. Perfect. Okay. So that's exactly, so this, this saves me a couple steps in the morning, like whatever, spending an hour or two, however long this was an hour, uh, making some automation. Of course, there's other value to the hours that I've spent, right? I've learned stuff. I've practiced stuff. Um, but like, I've got, I've got this now set up. Uh, let me just make sure. Let me look at it one more time. Um, I'm going to turn that safety on while I'm thinking about it. We don't need that. Uh, we could do a little cleanup in here, but this is fine. Uh, post date, date, post date. Because I'm dropping this date in directly here, I'm going to drop it in directly here too. Just for consistency. Um, oh, that's in double quotes though. No, 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 no. Let's let's do it the other way. Let's do it the other direction. Let's do it the other direction, because that's way I won't have to do that escape. So let's put that there. Post date. Numbers. Whatever. So nothing's really changed there. Um, what we want to do it now is post date string. Here we grab this, move that into our variable. And then we can get rid of all that junk and do that. Uh, sweet. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good shape. Uh, we're still in our content dev. Get rid of that. If we come back here. Refresh. Boom. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. So now the trick is how to open that file and. I think, so we've got our file path, we've made it, we have this line of code that worked elsewhere for us. If we do open post file path, and we run our script again, let me see if I can pull this down so it, see if it shows up. Did not open. Why did it not open? Uh, this file pat. It's probably an error. So I need to turn on errors in PHP somehow. I'll worry about that later. Actually, I may worry about that in a minute. Probably not though. So let's try this again. Fresh. There it goes. There's a page. Sweet. So last step is we drop this and we put in a redirect, which I'm going to copy from over here somewhere. Uh, where do I want to redirect it to? I guess just back to no, I actually do want to redirect it to Hmm. So where what I want to take it to is 
this. Because I want to open... I want to open the file that I just made. This is going to break... No, this actually should take me to the one that I've already done for today. Because it's going to it's gonna make the file in content dev, but it's sending it to the URL of the one that already exists, I think. Let's see what happens. So refresh, and actually... So we should, should see two things happen now. In the background here, we should see uh, Sublime Text open the fu uh, raw file, and then this should redirect us to the live file. Didn't redirect us, didn't open. Let's click on this. There it goes. I think I was on the wrong page. Sweet, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Because now, well, actually, let me let me do it for real. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up some craft. Why is that there? Oh, the URL for this down at the bottom is example underscore PHP. That was when we were setting the title. That kind of freaked me out because um, that journal should have been way lower. Uh, So this is in pretty solid, solid shape. I am going to go ahead and move this into production, which is just doing this. Uh, uh, actually, let's do this. Um, can't find it. There it is. One other piece of duplication, J-O-U-R-N-A-L path slug is this where's date string get set okay I need to do this lower because date string gets set here general path slug there we go So that's that, and then down here. So this is just redu uh, getting rid of some duplication. All right, and we're still in dev here. So I'm gonna delete this, because we've got our check in place. And what's gonna happen, whoops, come here. And so it's gonna it's gonna open the empty file, and then it's gonna open the empty file in Sublime Text, but it's gonna redirect to the prod file that has data in it, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. I use that every day. So like that and like it's like when I sit down and I'm kind of ready to go, it's one of those things that like there's just that little bit of friction of like, okay, I'm ready to type. And it's like, oh wait, hang on, I gotta, I gotta bring up the command line. I gotta do H new, I gotta do journal in the dash, and then that fires it up. But like it's this'll just be like I come down here, you know, whatever. Uh go, hey, new window, boom, right. Oh, Next, I want to make it, I need it, I want it to pop up. I want to get that to come front. And I've worked on that a few different times and haven't solved that yet. I've got an idea for how to do it, but I need to, um, I'm not gonna do that tonight because it's that's not gonna be before midnight and I should go to bed. Um, let me get rid of some of this stuff. Get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Should've kept that one open. All right, so I'm gonna do some cleanup real quick. I just wanted to get all that stuff out of the way. I'm gonna uh, do a couple pieces of cleanup. So thing one of cleanup is in my launchers in my Hugo Draft launcher. Clean up a little white space. We're gonna move this into production. And I'm gonna so I'm gonna get rid of dev now. 
And I'm gonna go do this. It's just for a minute. So I've got that, I've got that safe copy, which is just a duplicate, right? So I'm gonna delete this for a second because I want to, I want to do the full run in prod and just like do a, do a smoke test. Um, touch my bars and tone. And so we should see there's nothing in there. If we bring us down here, there it is. There's the empty one. Um, Wait a minute. Something's wrong. Why is this showing? This is doing something different. This is. A second ago. Whoa, what the hell's going on? A second ago, it just, it had, it was doing it like it was an index page. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. There's a directory here that Hugo's built and inside there's, there, there's a file, but there's no index file. So it's, it's turning it into a list of all the files that are in there and the file that is in there is the, is the prod one. That's what's going on. Okay, I was confused. So I wanna take this out for one second. All right, I want to get rid of those example ones too while I'm thinking about it, uh, just because they're in my way right now. So those are good to go. Now, all right, you go away. You go away, don't save. Let's see what happens. There it is, okay. So there's, there's the empty draft file ready for us. And then here's the, the file. What's cool with Hugo is like, I can just start typing. I hit save real quick and you'll see it pop in. Um, so that's really cool. That that does it. Uh, that's, that's got my first version. Uh, and it's, it's specific to journals and it's specific to the day, but I don't have to do anything for it um, to, to make it go. Why is there still two? Freak me out. That shouldn't be there. Try this again. Building. Where do you look like now? There we go. Yeah, sometimes it caches weird. That uh, may have been Safari though. Uh, that's really cool. Draft, 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 draft. I should write some of these up. Um, oh, I need to post that one too. Uh, so, cool. Then what we're gonna do is call that a win. I'm gonna go back, I right, closed it out, uh, into my content. What is going on? Content, nope. Journal. that one, put in our real one, rename it to the right thing, close it. I'm just gonna give that one more push. And uh, local host draft, here's the actual post, cool. Yeah, and so this is something I did the other day, which is I made the drafts red and put the word draft in them so I know which ones, when I'm working on the site, 
I know which ones are where. And then like the edit thing, and this is the same thing. So this is the other reason I want to solve for this, right? Is um, if I want to go and edit this particular post when I'm looking at it, if I click edit, it's opening back here in the background. Like it opens the right file for me to edit so I can go do stuff with it, right? But it's doing it in the background. And like, I want that. I'm gonna, I, I've got some ideas for how to solve that. That's that's for another stream, um, but I'm, I'm working on that. Um, but for now, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll do it again soon, uh, likely tomorrow. But in the meantime, y'all be kind. We'll see you.